Hey everyone, Philosopher Stoner 666 here. <laughs> I just um, wanted to make a quick video. I don't know if it'll be a response, but I watched this um, video by Coughlin um, 616. He used to go by, you know, Coughlin 666. So it's sort of where I stole the idea for my name, I guess. Anyways, he made this video talking about the failures of the atheist community and the atheist movement. And it just got me thinking about uh, sort of what he, some of what he said rang true that a lot of what seems to be going on now on YouTube and anywhere online are these forum communities or these video communities where everybody is preaching to their own little choir. And it really is just an internet phenomenon. Like you will only find, um, I don't know, what, what's it called? Anarcho-capitalism bullshit on the internet. You're not going to find them going to actual rallies or doing any sort of stuff that's really a movement out there, right? Um, and, you know, I've had my phases of thought where I've read all sorts of different philosophy and thought like, oh yeah, that's an idea that makes sense and this and that. And I'm not really interested in preaching for any particular um, stance. But I, I don't know, it's sort of the problem is, is the connection between all these um, separated groups. And that really, at the end of the day, I think the psychology is, is none of them really want to have a conversation. That's not why they exist. These sort of groups and movements and ideological labels are just to isolate themselves, to have their own tribe. Um, I think what happens at the end of the day is we have a civilization, right, where there are defined winners and losers. And not everybody can succeed at the game, so to speak. Not everybody can be the Fortune 500 capitalist and make lots of money. So what happens is people break off and they form their own new tribe. And they create their own new rules and new ways of doing things. Um, you, you even saw this with, like, say, in the 60s, 70s, where you had all these different kinds of music. You had, so you had, like, punk, and you had metal, and you had all these different things. And basically it was, okay, they, they couldn't succeed in the mainstream world, so they went and they made their own world. They made their own clothes, their own fashion, their own um, design, their own music, because they couldn't win the mainstream kind of game. And really, at the end of the day, they weren't interested. They would maybe preach ideals about rebellion and this and that. But really, it was just to be a part of something, to form a community and, you know, with like-minded people and become just another clique, really. Not really interested in any sort of high-minded ideals. It was just to be another clique. And I think we can even see this in religion itself really half of religion seems to me to just be like oh yes look at me i wear a veil and all this stuff i'm in islam look at me i'm so special you know i have this elite status and i am one of the chosen people of god or look at me i'm a jew i wear a circle hat on my head i am better than all those non-believers um, it, it provides a sort of sense of continuity, of a purpose, of imposing a meaning where there otherwise wouldn't be a meaning, and it creates, you know, another tribe. So it's all about creating tribes. So, you know, we have all these new tribes out there, and I think what needs to happen is more of these tribes got to actually be having a real conversation. Like a few weeks back, I made a response video to a Stefan Molyneux video, and, you know, I, I thought the video was quite respectable, never got a response to it. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm not really interested in a conversation, I guess. And I, I think it's like that a lot with lots of channels and lots of people out there. They're not really interested in having a real conversation because they're all uh, motivated by their own ideology. And anything that fucks with that ideology is something that has to be disposed of. You know, they're not really interested in that conversation. Um, so just sort of I wanted to brainstorm ideas of ways of provoking a conversation. And I don't know what some of those could be, and I think that's the real dilemma that needs to be solved. Anyways, I'll just leave you viewers with that food for thought. Philosopher Stoner 666 out.